Hello everyone, welcome back and today we are looking at question 203 which is remove linked list elements. So we are given the head of a linked list and an integer value. We want to remove all the nodes of the linked list that has node.value equals to the value that they give us. And we want to return the new head. Let's look at example 1. We have a linked list with 1, 2, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6 and they want us to remove the value 6. So simply, we check all the nodes of the linked list, and whenever we see a 6, we want to remove that node, and we need to fix the pointers of the linked list. Now you might look at the input and you see that the head equals to all those values, and you might get confused, but let me tell you that in lead code, when we have linked lists, and when you return a node, right, the lead code platform would return that node and all the nodes connected to it because we have a linked list. Now, when they said the head is equals to all of these, they are saying that the head is one. And basically, all the nodes connected to one we can see are two, six, three, four, five, six. So the head is just one, and these are the nodes connected to the head. And we see that the output after we remove the six is basically one, two, three, four, five. So in short, we need to return the new head and lead code itself will just return the, that new head and all the nodes connected to it, which is two, three, four, five, basically. Now example two is saying, okay, the head is pointing to nothing and the value we want to remove is one. Well, we don't have anything, so you just return nothing. Empty um, link list. Now example three is saying that the head is seven and all the nodes connected to 7 have the value of 7. And we want to remove 7, so we just remove everything and we return an empty linked list. So let's go to the blackboard and explain how can we do this. Okay, here we are at the blackboard, and as you can see, I have drawn linked list containing 1, 2, 6, 3, 6. 1 is the head of the linked list, this 6 is the tail, and thus it points to nothing. On the right hand side, I have wrote code that we will fill out as we go to understand the approach used to solve the problem. Now, let's say we want to remove the value 6. We want to remove 6. What should we do? Well, we can go through all the nodes of the linked list, and whenever we see the value 6, we want to remove it, and thus go to the previous node, fix its pointer, so that it will point to the node that comes after the node that we want to remove. So as I said, we need to have access to the previous node, but we have a single linked list which goes in one direction. Using this single linked list, we cannot access the previous node. What should we do? Well, we can create a previous pointer. So this previous pointer will access the previous node. And you might ask, well, what is this um, purple pointer? Well, this will point to the current node. So whenever we see the value that we want to remove, we will use this previous pointer to access the previous node and we can simply fix that pointer to point to the node that comes after the node that we want to remove. Okay, but now let me ask you, hey, I want to remove the value 1. Same approach, we can go to 1. Does this node contain the value that we want to remove? Yes. So let me go to the previous, oh hey, we don't have a previous node. 1 is the head of the linked list. This is an edge case and I hate edge cases. One of the best ways to remove or to reduce the edge cases in linked list is to use dummy node. So what we can do is that we can create a dummy node here that contains absolutely nothing and this dummy node will point to the actual head of the linked list. So now when we say hey remove the value 1 we go, okay, let me go to the previous node. We see we have a previous node, which is this dummy node that contains nothing. And we can take this pointer and point it to the node that comes after the node that we want to remove. In this case, if we want to remove one, this dummy node will point to two. And two will become the new head of the linked list. Okay, so this dummy node is used to reduce the edge cases in the linked list. Okay, so let's start. And yeah, we want to remove the value 6. So remove the value 6. Okay, good. So the first thing we said is we want to create a dummy node. And hey, we created it. 
and we see that its next pointer is pointing to the actual head. So when we write the code, we need to we need to do that. So we can say the dummy the dummy dot next equals the head of our linked list. So dummy dot next equals the head. So now we have this dummy node and this node is connected to the actual head of the linked list. Okay, now we have two pointers, as we said, the previous pointer and the current pointer. Well, the previous pointer should start somewhere and we have this dummy node for a reason so that the previous pointer can start here. So previous equals the dummy node, which means that this previous pointer will have the address of this dummy node. In other words, this previous will point to this dummy node. And now the current pointer will start at the actual head of the linked list. So current equals the head of the linked list. Okay. So now, for instance, if we want to remove this one, we can use this previous to access the previous node. And we can say, hey, previous dot next pointer needs to point to current dot next pointer. You see, we will use the previous and the current node. Okay, so let's start with the um, approach itself. We are starting at the current node. We will ask ourselves a question. Does this node contains the value that we want to remove? In other words, if current dot value equals the value that we want to remove, right? This is the current pointer. If current dot value equals the value that we want to remove, we will do something. In this case, does one equals to six? No. So we need to go to the else section. What should we do? Well, we know that we we don't want to remove this one, so there is no need for the previous pointer to point to the previous node. We can advance the previous here, and now the current will also go to two because we don't want to remove this one. Here is the current. So what did we do? Well, we go to the else section and we said, oh yeah, the previous will equal where current is pointing at. Remember, current was pointing here. So we took the previous and we advanced it to where current is pointing to. So else the previous will equal the current. So we will take the previous pointer and points to where current is pointing to. And outside this else, we said we need to advance the current pointer. Why outside this else? Well, because inside the if and inside the else, we need to advance the current pointer. So we can just write it outside of the if else block. You, if you don't get this now, it's okay. You will see this as we advance through the linked list. So the current equals the current dot next. Again, if the current is here, what is current dot next? Well, current is pointing to one. Current dot next is this yellow pointer, and this yellow pointer is pointing to two. So when we say current equals current dot next, the current will go to the next node. Again, if current dot value equals value, does two equals to six? No. Go to the else section. We said, hey, take the previous, point it to where current is pointing. So let me take this previous and pointing to where current is pointing. And we said, hey, advance the current as well. So current equals current dot next. Take this current and advance it here. Same story. Does six equals to six? Yes. Now what? Well, we said we need to have access to the previous node. Do we have access to the previous node? And yes, we do. We have this previous pointer pointing to the previous node. Well, good. Now, what should we do? Well, we say, okay, go to the previous node, take the previous dot next pointer, which is this yellow one, take this previous dot next pointer, and we need to make this node point to where current dot next is pointing to. Well, current is pointing to six, current dot next is pointing to three. So now the previous dot next pointer will point to three as well. So what did we do here? If the node that we are at contains the value that we want to remove, we need to go to the previous node and we want to say, hey, the previous node, dot next pointer needs to point to where current, dot next is pointing to. 
this is what we did. We went to the previous and we took the previous.next and we are pointing to where current.next is pointing to. When we finish this if, we need to get out of the if else block and we go here. Oh, we need to advance the current as well. It makes sense. 6 will be removed. There is no need for the current to stay at 6. We want to remove, I mean, we want to advance the current to the next node. So take this and advance it to the next node. So now do you see why I have the current equals current.next outside the if else block? Because in the if, we need to advance the current. In the else, we also need to advance the current. So put the current outside of the if else block because we will always advance the current. So now there is nothing pointing to 6 and now 6 will be removed by the garbage collector. So let me fix the drawing to make it more appealing to the eye. Now we go again. Hey, does the current that value equal the value that we want to remove? Is 3 equal to 6? No. Go to the else, advance previous to where current is pointing to, and now we need to advance the current. So current equals current.next. One last time, does 6 equals to 6? Yes. So what we need to do is, hey, go to the previous node, fix its next pointer. So do we have access to the previous node? Yes, previous node is 3. So we said previous.next, which is this yellow pointer, will equals to current.next. Here is current current.next is pointing to null, so previous.next will also point to null. And now, outside of the if-else block, we need to advance the current. Current equals current.next. Take this, put it here. So again, nothing is pointing to 6. 6 can be removed, and let me fix the drawing to make it more appealing to the eye. And we have this. As you can see, we have successfully finished everything. We removed all instances of 6 from the linked list. And now as you can see, I did not fill in the while condition yet, but when did we stop? Well, when the current pointer reaches null. In other words, while current does not equals to null, we, needs to, we need to keep moving. And once the current is null, we will break from this while loop and we need to return something. What should we return? We said we want to return the head of the linked list, but guess what? We have a dummy node that always points to the head of the linked list. I told you I had edge cases and this removed the edge case of the head. So we have a dummy node that always points to the head and we can just say, okay, we want to return this dummy dot next. Since dummy always points to the head, just return dummy dot next. The dummy dot next will always be the head of our linked list. So let's go to lead code and we will write exactly the code that you see here. Okay, here we are at lead code and we said we want to create a dummy node. So let's create that. So list node, um, let's call it, I don't know, dummy because it makes sense, equals new list node. Okay, good. And we said this dummy node will always point to the head of the linked list and we need to make that connection. So we can say that, hey, the dummy dot next is equal to the head of the linked list. Makes sense. And finally, we said we need to have two pointers, a previous pointer and a current pointer. Um, list node previous, it will start at the dummy node. And the current pointer will start of the actual head of our linked list. So we can say that list node um, current will start at the head of the linked list. Good. And now our logic begins. We said we need a while loop and we said we need to keep looping until current hits null or in other words while the current does not equal null we need to keep looping. And what should we do? Well we said we need to ask one question. If, if the current dot value equals the value that we want to remove we need to go to the previous node we need to have access to the previous node using the previous pointer so we can go to the previous and we need to fix the next pointer of the previous node so previous dot next equals what well it will equal the node that comes after the node that we want to remove so previous dot next will equals current dot next. So now what if the 
the node that we are at does not contain the value that we want to remove well we said we need to go to the else right so else what well simply we said we need to advance the previous pointer to where current is pointing to so previous equals current and we said in both cases and the f or in the else we need to advance the current pointer and we said we need to put that outside the if else block so outside we will say the current equals current dot next and when this while loop finishes or in other words when current hits null we will break and we know for sure we have removed all instances of the value that we need to remove so at the end just return the dummy dot next why is that we said the dummy will always point to the head so dummy dot next will always point to the head of the linked list okay so let's run the code and let's submit okay so looking at the time and space complexity starting with the time complexity we loop through all the nodes of the linked list to make sure that we remove all the occurrences of the value that we want to remove assuming we have n nodes in the linked list the time complexity is big o of n now in terms of the space complexity we only used one dummy node and the rest was complete pointer manipulation since we only used one dummy node the space complexity is big o of one i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe best of luck to you and see you in the next one